Hello and welcome to Backgrounded Characters. Each week I grab a random image off the internet, I throw it on my green screen, and then I improvise a character based on that image. They're usually short, occasionally they're incredibly short, sometimes they're a little long, but they're always pretty fun and improvised. So, if you don't like this one, watch one of the other ones. Okay? Okay? Anyway, enjoy Backgrounded Characters. I didn't mean to yell. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, um... So your, um... Your messages didn't say anything about you coming, uh... Dressed like you were. You said you'd, you'd be dressed with a, a white jacket. Um, but that was it. Um... Look, I've been hurt before, so before we get into this, I just have to know. Um... Are you a cosplayer? Or do you believe yourself to be an actual stormtrooper? Cosplayer, thank God. Yeah, no, no. I, hey, it's important to you. You're part of the 501. Great. That's awesome. It's what you do with all your free time is, is dressing up in Star Wars and walking around in parades and being a stormtrooper at conventions and Doing all that stuff. You do what you. I'll, I'll hang out. That sounds awesome. I love that. Yeah, no, I was just afraid that you thought you were in, that this was Star Wars and you were in Star Wars and that you were a stormtrooper. Maybe you were uh, one of the clone ones or later one of the just, you know, regular old non cloned people that joined up. Um, well, like I said, I've been hurt before. Um, for about six months, I dated someone who I thought was a furry, but it turns out they fully, truly believed that they were a squirrel. Yeah, they thought they were a talking squirrel. Um, I had never asked. I just assumed, which I guess is my fault. But I thought, hey, you clearly bought this costume from someone and uh, you're wearing it and you don't always wear it. You're a furry who finds this costume, your fursona, to be you, you at your most authentic. And, you know, maybe you're one of those folks that uh, takes it a step further and thinks that you were actually born that animal. And then, you know, your soul was reincarnated in a human body. You don't belong in a human body. And that's another thing. I don't know enough about that to really, like, be as cool as I should be. But I'd be willing to learn. But, um... Uh, Glenn just thought that he was a squirrel and was very unhappy that I didn't think that he was. Um, so, yeah, this is actually, actually, this is the first date I've been on since then. And so when you came in on your gear, um, I got nervous. You don't have to take it off. No, live your truth. Be you. This is obviously so important to you that you wore it on a first date. So what am I going to do, right? Um, uh, I will, I am going to have to ask you to take off the helmet for just like a minute. Cause like, I don't fuck uggos, you know? <laughs> 